What's up, g fam? It's your girl, Mika, and I'm back with another video. Okay, so I'm back with a part two Would You Rather challenge. Before I jump into this video, I want you guys to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, I want uh, you to hit the post notifications bell and hit the like button. Hit the like button. I also have a Walking the Promise vlogs where I'm doing all vlogs every day of my life. I would love for y'all to go and subscribe to that channel as well. That's, that channel link will be in the description box below. And so I'm wishing that everybody's having a blessed, 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 blessed Friday. Let's get into this video. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. Okay, so the first question is, I got 10 questions, y'all. 10. And it depends on if I feel like they're worth it enough or the not. I might sh cut a shoulder and ask something on. You never know with me. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. Hey, you never know what you're gonna get. Okay, I just had a moment. All right, here we go. Would you rather uh, see 10 minutes in into your future? It say, would I rather see 10 minutes into my own future or into 10 minutes into somebody else's future and not my own? I would rather see 10 minutes in. Um, um, somebody else's future and the reason why I say that is because being a believer we walk by faith and not by sight so if you see stuff I mean you're not really trusting because you already seen it you already know what's gonna happen and you know I've always asked God to let me have, let me have blind faith let me walk you know blind where I can always continually trust in him and knowing that everything is gonna work out everything gonna be all right so yes moving on okay uh, would you rather work easy for someone else, like working all the days of your life for somebody else, but the work is easy, or would you rather work incredibly hard for yourself? I would rather work incredibly hard for myself for the rest of my days. You know why? Because I'm a boss. That's why. I'm a boss. Um, no, I'm just playing, y'all. But, no, nah, but serious business, though, I would rather work for myself. Because at least I know I'm getting that money. I'm getting it in. And the stuff that I do for myself is not only going to build me up. I can put it aside to, for my children to help them help their children, 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 children. Understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? Because when you become a CEO, you hear me? You hear that? You can put invest. You can invest into your kids, to your life, and everything be great. But when you're working for somebody else, they got their foot on your neck and they keep you down. No, I'm just playing. Well, no, seriously, business though, when you get trapped up into those companies and, you know, they making all the money, you doing all the work. So, but I'd rather work hard for myself than, you know, boom. I mean, that's just the way it is. Next question. Uh, would you rather have a horribly short-term memory or a long, a horribly long-term memory? I would rather have a horribly long-term memory. Um, you know what? I, I, I wait. I'm thinking on that. That's kind of tricky, y'all, because some things that happen in my life that I don't want to remember. So the short term memory would come in play, and it's some things in my life, like history and my aunties and uncles and family members and things and events that I would like to remember. Things that messages. So with that being said, I think I would want a long term memory. I'll suffer the little bad for all the rest of the good. I would like to have a long term memory because there's a whole lot of things and information that I want to take in and learn from and actually help others. So yeah, I would do the long term. Boom. Next question. Um, would you rather be invisible for a whole day? For one day? Or would you rather fly? For one day, I would rather fly for one day. I want to soar above the clouds. I want to see the trees. I want to stand in the beam of the sunlight. Now, I'm just playing, y'all. But now, I would like to, you know, fly. I had dreams of me flying, and it was wonderful and peaceful up there. So, yeah, I would love it. I would love to fly. Okay, moving on. Did y'all enjoy that little mini terrible selection I just did? Huh? Huh? Moving on. Okay. Okay, would you rather be poor and help people or incredibly rich and hurt people? I would rather be poor and help people. That's like a that's like coming from my character right there. I, I would rather be poor and help people. 
because I'm what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul you guys you have all these riches but if you ain't got no heart compassion and love uh, that's no good that's no good people ain't gonna be around you anyway I mean they probably be around you but they all be using you for your money anyway so I mean now nah, I'd rather be poor I'd rather be poor and help people I want to keep my good heart you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I'm tr hey. Okay. Here we go. Another question. Would you rather... This is what they're asking me. So I'm telling y'all what to say. Would I rather uh, go without the internet or without AC or heat? Now, because I work like through the internet and stuff like that, doing my YouTube, which is what I love to do, you know, talk to people, interact with my, my people, uh, it would be kind of hard not to do it. But if I had to choose, I would choose, I would rather go without internet. Because AC and heat can save my life. The internet cannot. I mean, if I freeze to death, I mean, the internet don't give me warmth, you understand? And the internet don't keep me cool when I'm hot. So... Yeah, I choose life. I choose life over social media. So, yeah. So, moving on. Uh, and this is another question. Okay. Uh, would I rather have a horrible job but be able to retire comfortably in 10 years or have a dream job and work for the rest of my life? Um, I mean, this kind of conflicts with me being my own boss. But if I had to choose, I would say I would rather have my dream job and work for the rest of my life. The reason why is because if you're doing something that you love, it won't seem that long. You feel me? It won't be dragged out and drugged out. But if I'm doing something that I absolutely do not want to do, that I hate, it, it seems like that's more punishment. It feels like it's torment. Like, it's on your head. It's pounding you. I, I, I can't take it. I don't like that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be happy with whatever I'm doing because when I'm happy, I can put everything I got into it. You feel what I'm saying? Is anybody else out there feel like that G-Dub? Anybody else out there my G-Dub family? Y'all feel the way I feel? If you happy about what you're doing, you put your all in, you put more compassion in, you do what you got to do. When you're sad and miserable, man, you can care if it's coming or going. You feel what I'm saying? You're just trying to survive. And sometimes it's better to, to love what you do than to be in something and you're not you're suffering. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, moving on. Next question. Okay, and this will be the last question, you guys. This will be the last question. Here we go. Let's see. Here we go. 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 Hey. Okay. And this is more of a, like a woo, romantic side. Okay, so would you rather find your true love or a suitcase with $5 million in it? Which one would y'all pick? I'm going to take a moment and wait so y'all can hit it in the comments below and tell me which one you want out of this question. Would you rather find your true love or would you rather find a suitcase with $5 million? I'm going to give you 10, 10 seconds. Ready and go. And Mika would rather find her true love. Let me tell you why. I would rather find my true love because my true love is, I feel like I have $5 million. Because finding real love in this day and time is so, so, so rare. It's a lot of people who think they're, you know, in love and they have found love and, and it don't work out. It's a lot of people who have been with people for years and stuff still goes down the drain. It's very rare you find, and some people stick together for kids. Some people stick for people for security. You know, so scared of being alone. You know, it's not because they're in love. They, they just let their fears hold them together. And that's not true love. I mean, I, if I can have the opportunity to find true love, God allow me to get that, that's what I want. Yeah, because that's a, that's a true gift from God. And who knows? I might give it that true love and we build something together and have, own our own five million. We ain't got to find it in the suitcase. If we'll be able to make it. Woo! No. <laughs> you hear me? We in love, we in this thing, we build this stuff together. We both serving the Lord and giving him his praise. And that five million just come to us. You understand what I'm saying? It just come flowing, come flowing in. So, yes. So, that's the end of this Would You Rather uh, question challenge uh, part two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me your comments. I sure would like y'all reactions. Don't forget to hit the like button. I get a lot of more views than I do likes. So, go on. Don't be scared. Smash that like button for me. Boop, boop. Smash it, y'all. Oh, and go follow me on IG at 
uh, Walking in Promise Vlogs and also Living with Tamika. Those are two of them. Living with Tamika and Walking in Promise Vlogs. I got two IGs. So. And they both one for my um, uh, my vlogging channel. One is for my main. So y'all just go hit both of those up. I love y'all guys with all my heart. So tell my GDF fam, ah, salute you. May you continue to walk in promise and promise to go ahead for your life. And I will see y'all later. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.